It's 3 p.m. on the East Coast here in New York City, and we're going to start with this live webcast. I'm here to help you every step of the way. My name is Robert Farrell, and I'll be with you in just a second. So, we're going to go through some really cool things today. One of the things I'm going to talk about is basically how you can have the opportunity to earn online one step at a time. Now, I've been in the online trenches for 25 years. I've made a lot of mistakes. Do I have all the answers? Oh, hell no. I waste a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of effort back in those days. It wasn't until about roughly about 14, 15 years ago that the light bulb went on and I finally, finally started working smart. Because like many other people, I thought the key to success was to sell, sell, keep selling, sell some more, sell this, sell that. No, I'm gonna share with you how to make a lot of money without selling by offering what's called value. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some examples of this. I'm gonna profile one of my recent students, Becky, who's been with me now uh, a little bit more than three weeks. She now has five niche marketing websites. Each one is making money. Becky's made close to, I checked with her during the week, she was up to like 42 or 4,300 bucks. Now, again, I just wanna be very candid with you. This is not about how much you could make. This is about the O word, the opportunity. So as an example, how much money could you make if you don't do this? Well, that's pretty obvious. It's kind of like saying, how many pizzas can I sell if I don't own a pizza store? Well, that's a silly question. Now, let's think about something. Here in New York City, pizza business is very lucrative. So if you were to start a pizza business, don't you think you'd want to talk to somebody that owned a pizza business? So that's where I come in. I've been online for 25 years. I want you to come to me for the best way to do this based on my thousands of students that I've curated since 1995. I am happy to say I have over 57,000 students. Now, it didn't happen overnight. I started out with maybe a handful of students, 20, 30, built up to 50. A couple months later, I had 100. Now, what really kicked the student base into high gear, of course, was broadband and the advent of YouTube. Since I've been on YouTube since the beginning, my customer base has exploded. So I'm gonna share with you step-by-step step how to attract customers, how to land customers, how to get customers. Now, many of you might ask, wait a second, Robert, I don't own any product. I don't wanna have to buy anything. Do I have to buy anything? No, you don't have to buy anything in order to make money. So I'm gonna share with you a simple way to use and benefit from the four big dogs on the market in no particular order, which are of course the number two search engine. What's the number two search engine? Number two search engine is not Bing, not Yahoo, it's YouTube, YouTube by far. In fact, Bing and Yahoo aren't even in the same neighborhood. If Yahoo, I'm sorry, if YouTube would say Boston geographically, Bing and Yahoo would be like Antarctica. That's how far away they are, not even close. I'm also gonna share with you how to ride the coattails of Facebook the right way by engaging people, not selling things. I'm also gonna show you how to ride the coattails of the number one online retail store, which of course is Amazon. Now, I don't know what your feelings are, love or hate Amazon. But, you know, back in the 20s and 30s, the bank robber Willie Sutton was asked, why do you rob banks? Well, he said very profoundly because that's where the money is. Well, Amazon by far is the number one retailer. Now, you can be associated with anybody you want to be associated with as far as an affiliate. Lululemon, Dick's Sporting Goods, Amazon, uh, Best Buy, Target, uh, Saks Fifth Avenue. But Amazon is the number one kingpin, so why reinvent the wheel? So I'm gonna to focus today on Amazon, Facebook, YouTube, and WordPress. All my websites are built in WordPress. WordPress is a free tool. But I'm gonna share with you how to use premium tools to get the job done so you're not reinventing the wheel. 
I'm also going to share with you my lazy techniques. I'm a very lazy guy. I turned 61 this past May 2020. And uh, 61. And uh, I didn't touch my first computer until I was 28 years old back in 1987. I got into computers because I had a failed, yes, you heard me say it, failed jazz club. Lasted about 17 months in Salt Lake City. I went out there to finish school, started the jazz club, lasted 17 months, and pop quiz. How do you make a million dollars in the jazz club business? How do you make a million dollars in the jazz club business? You start with two. You start with two. Now, it wasn't quite that bad, but it was pretty bad. So when I folded up my tent with my tail between my legs, a friend of mine said, why don't you get yourself a Mac and teach yourself desktop publishing? And I was like, what's a Mac and what's desktop publishing? I had no idea what a computer would be used for. But I realized that every time I had a flyer or a poster made for my jazz club, the person would charge me $50 here, $75 here, $100 there. And I never looked back. So because of my 28-year-old insight brain that got me new computers and I've never looked back. When online came, I started a training company here, training software training company, uh, back in 91, 92 here on West 57th Street, very successfully. I literally started my company, my training company, renting a desk from an attorney. I didn't have money for a big office space here in New York City. But within six months, I had my own office. And within another six months later, I had two entire, two different floors, not two entire floors, but two different offices on two different floors. 2001, 9-11 happened and it killed the, uh, the in-person training. And I went online full-time, 100% in 2004, and I've never looked back. Now, enough of that. So I'm going to share with you, I'm going to hide me. You don't need to see me talking anymore. And I'm going to share with you some of my students' websites, and I'm going to share with you how they make money. Now, this is one of my students, Becky. And Becky's been with me for a little bit more than three weeks. These are very engaging, very good-looking websites. Now, the key to successful online marketing, and don't take my word for this, Google this. How to make money online. The first thing anyone will tell you, including me, is you have to pick a niche. You don't want to have one website that sells baby clothes and car parts and trips to Hawaii and fitness. That's too confusing. You want to have different niche sites. So that's exactly what my students do. And more importantly, that's exactly what Becky did. So Becky has these different workout videos. Now, Becky did not create any of these videos. These videos were curated right from YouTube. Okay, now this site was built totally from scratch, starting with somewhat of a blank page. Becky created the site in about five minutes of signing up. And then she took about 45 minutes to get her colors and organize the layout and get this looking exactly the way she wanted. Now, here's something that I want to share with you that's very valuable. I know I'm not looking at the camera right now because I'm trying to do something off camera to this site for a second. Uh, I don't want you to see my Facebook login, so I'm being a little cutesy here by not showing that screen. Okay, I'll go back to the screen in just a second. So what I want to share with you is that if you want to be successful earning online, now I'll show Becky's website again. If you want to be successful earning online, then rule number one, stop selling. Yes, stop selling. So I'm going to teach you how to earn by not selling, by engaging. So again, let's go back to Becky's website. So she's got engaging content here. Now notice she's got all different types of categories. Here's her fat burning videos, her low impact Pilates, weight training, yoga. She also has fitness deals. Of course, this is where she makes money from Lululemon or Amazon. Here's a health shop, coffee shop, drink shop, Becky's fitness blog. Now again, this is her blog, but she didn't write any of these articles. She curated articles off the internet. Totally legal, 100% free. Here's some recipes. Recipes, I'll talk about that in a second. That's a great way to get people to come to your website. So here's the sequence of how you can earn online in a nutshell. So let's say as an example, 
that Becky wanted to post this video, this video about how to achieve your fitness goals. Well, that sounds like an engaging thing to do. So if, the, if she, Becky was to click right here. Now, before I do this, I do want to share with you that my backend software inside of WordPress will actually do this for you automatically. But I'm going to do this manually to give you, for instance, of how this could be done. So if she clicks right here, now, obviously, I don't have access, nor do I want access to Becky's website. So I'm going to post this to my Facebook page. Now, what I highly suggest you do is don't post to your profile page. Come up with a separate page for that particular niche. So as an example, strangely enough, I just happen to have a fitness Facebook page called Think Fitness. That rascal go. Where did Think Fitness go? Oh, there it is. I didn't see it. Now, here's what I suggest you do. If you're going to have five different niche marketing websites, then you should have five different Facebook pages. And you should also have five different uh, Instagram pages or Twitter pages because that's going to be less confusing. Now, in a second, after I share with you what I'm about to share with you, I'm going to talk about how and why somebody would come to your website to buy. Why wouldn't they just go to Amazon? Why wouldn't they go to Best Buy? Why the heck would they come to your website? I'm going to solve that question in just a second. So what I would do if Becky wanted to post this on her social media again, she would basically pick her fitness page. Then I would put some kind of engaging question like, hey, have you tried this workout before? Do you have your own fitness website or own fitness video that you like to share? And then I would also put some kind of hashtag, like hashtag, I use the hashtag a lot, hashtag think fitness. So the idea here is that you don't want to reinvent the wheel. You want to work smart. You want to engage people. You don't want to sell them. You want to offer value. So let's get back to Becky's site again for a second. So the way that she's making money 101 is driving people to her website with high targeted videos that she found off of YouTube. Now, my software, I basically built an entire backend system. It took me about a good year to perfect this system, completely turnkey, where you will get everything you need to earn online, all the tools, the software, the premium plugins, hosting, in fact, the main names. Let me share something with you. Here's one of my main websites, nichebuilders.club. Now, now, I'm not here to sell you anything. I just want to explain to you the process. So you will have access to any of these domain names. So as an example, you can choose to be your name.onlinekids.store or your brand. Let's say your brand is XYZ Company. So you could be XYZcompany.babiesonline.store or Becky.bridalshops.store or Joe.coffeeteasnackstore. There's over 50 different domain names. Now, of course, if you want, you can add your own domain name, but I've already basically jumped through hoops. Actually, I should be showing the screen right now. My mistake on that. Sorry about that. So you'll have access to these different domain names. You could be nick.coffeeteasnacks.store or becky.online uh, plus size online or joe.online men's store, et cetera, et cetera. So you can have your own domain name as well, but I already curated all these different domain names for your purpose. So these are already targeted and keyword rich. So why do you want to reinvent the wheel? I guess what I'm trying to say to you is I've done all the heavy lifting for you. And here's how the whole thing works. So let's go back to Becky. Here's another one of her website. Here's Becky's online recipe store. Now, I can't tell you how profitable recipes could be. Okay. Again, this site was built in about five minutes. I keep going back to the camera and forgetting. Sorry about that. So this is Becky's online fitness store. I'm sorry. This is Becky's. Blah. I didn't get enough sleep last night. This is Becky's online recipe shop, and you can design this any way you choose. 
Now, I can't tell you how valuable recipes are because recipes are going to engage people and draw traffic to your website. So let me explain something to you that perhaps you're not thinking about. Okay. Who knows what the number one drug in America is? Now, not that drug. I'm talking about legal drug, a drug that you can readily buy in any neighborhood. That drug, of course, is coffee. Now, this is something I found out recently, I think back in April. I was blown away that I found out that over 450 million cups are drank every day in the United States. Well, how does that help you? How does it help you earn money? Well, let's say that you wanted to sell the number one drug. Here's what you don't want to do, and here's the mistake everybody makes. We want to post things on our social media and our Instagram, sell, sell, sell. No, I'm imploring you, I'm begging you, stop selling. So if you want to basically engage people with coffee and coffee products, then don't put the coffee products on your social media, Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, put coffee recipes. Now, what I want to share with you is regardless of the niche, and I I have hundreds of niche websites that I personally own myself. Anywhere from do-it-yourself video, I'm sorry, do-it-yourself home improvement to political websites. I have a pro-Trump website. I have an anti-Trump website. I have, you know, you want to basically hedge your bet. So what I want to share with you is that no matter what the niche is, and every single one of my, I have a car parts website. I have a trip to Hawaii website. Regardless of the niche website, I always put a link and recipes for coffee, tea, snacks, beverages. Why do you think I would do that? Well, it's disingenuous to think that just because somebody likes to shop for car parts or ballet shoes or trips to Hawaii, what, they don't drink coffee, tea, snacks, or beverages? Of course they do. In fact, I have a niche basically called coffee, tea, snacks, and beverages store. And I actually have a Facebook page called Coffee, Tea, Snacks, Beverages. So I want to share with you how to not reinvent the wheel and work smart. So if you want to sell coffee, which is a number one best-selling drug, then don't post coffee from Amazon or Walmart or Williams-Sonoma or wherever you're getting your coffee from. Don't post it on social media. Post coffee recipes. It's much more engaging. Here's another idea that works like a charm. Everything I'm telling you, by the way, works because my students are doing it, I'm doing it. So I'm not just talking out of my nose. So let's say you want to sell coffee makers, coffee machines, K-cups, pop quiz. Do you think you respond better? Coffee maker, 20% off. Coffee maker, 40% off. Coffee maker, two for one. Or might you respond better with the five best coffee maker reviews? Where do you get this? Off of YouTube. It's been done. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to create videos. Now, if you want to create videos, that's up to you. But 98% of my students create no videos, and they make tons of money because they're using those videos to attract people from YouTube. So let's go back to Becky's site again for a second. Okay? Now, I'm going to share with you in just a second how Becky got this content into her website and why this is very valuable and how she makes money with this. So I am going to go and put my face back up there because I'm going to log in. Becky's giving me permission to log into her website into the back end admin. Now, this is a WordPress website. And the cool thing about my WordPress platform is I actually have back-end training videos right inside of WordPress for your benefit. In fact, what's really cool, I developed this plugin, this WordPress plugin about 12 years ago, where you can actually not only watch my videos in the back-end, but you can actually write notes, type in notes right below each video, which I think is pretty darn cool. In fact, if I go back to Becky's website for a second, you'll see down here at the bottom that what I want to be able to do is I want to go to something called WP Automatic. This is a premium plugin that you will get with my system. 
Okay, so we're going to go to what's called all campaigns. Now, a campaign is simply a way of curating content into your WordPress site. So let's say that Becky wanted to bring in some more Instapot recipes. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down a control key because I'm going to bring up a separate window. I'm going to keep that window there and open up the separate window. So this is really how simple it is to do. Now, because I'm doing a live webcast at the same time I connected to the internet, it might be slightly slower. Now, by default, when Becky set this whole thing up, this system, this software system that I developed is already curated to bring in new content every eight hours. And let's think about that. This way you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Once you basically set up your keywords in the back end, in this particular case, Instapot recipes, every eight hours or three times a day, it will bring in new content. So you're going to get new content as you're sleeping. Now, you could bring in new content every 10 minutes, but I don't suggest that because that's just going to tie up your server, which doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense. So if Becky wants to bring in content into her backend system here, she simply clicks this button right here, and within a couple of seconds, she will have new backend content into her WordPress website, which is pretty darn cool. So every time she clicks this button, it's going to bring in new content, one step at a time. Now, she puts this content into different categories. Now, this is based on keywords. So Becky put all the types of keywords, Instapot recipes, healthy Instapot, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it's going to curate this content every eight hours. And it's really that simple. So if you go back to Becky's front end again, I'm going to go back and open up a new tab. You'll see that all this content, whether it came from Amazon or wherever she's an affiliate, my plugin will bring in Best Buy, Amazon, Walmart, and other things you basically, it doesn't bring in automatically, but you can basically be an affiliate for anybody. So again, this content was built one step at a time. Okay. Now, the way that you're going to make money on this is you don't have to own inventory. Okay. And that's the nice thing about this. Now, many of you probably heard of what's called drop shipping. It was a rage about three, four years ago. Now, are there people making money on drop shipping? Yeah, I'm sure there are. I'm sure there's people making millions of dollars on drop shipping. But as successful as I am, and as much as I know about online marketing and sales based on 25 years, I want no part of that. Why? Well, first of all, I'm always a guy. B, I don't want to own anything. I just want to ride the coattails of success. Meaning that I couldn't tell you, is the blue chair going to sell better than the red chair? Is this product going to sell better than that product? I don't know. I don't care. I don't want to know. So the cool thing about a company like Amazon, Walmart, Best Buy, Saks Fifth Avenue, whoever you're an affiliate with, they will actually tell you the best selling products. They will tell you the products that you should put on your website. Now, why do you think they would do that? Well, I got to tell you, Amazon, Jeff Bezos, Walmart, the Walton family, they are very selfish people. They do this for selfish reasons. I'm a selfish person too. What I mean by that is if you're making money, I'm making money. So of course, Amazon, Walmart, Williams-Sonoma, Dick's Sporting Goods, they want to tell you their best-selling products because that's where you're going to make money. If you make money, you're going to continue to do business with them. It's just a smart move. They don't want you selling their garbage. They want you selling their crap that doesn't sell. So, of course, they're going to tell you the best-selling products, and those are the products that you want to put on your website. Pretty cool, huh? In fact, in your keywords at the back end, inside of Becky's campaign, you can actually put in the word best selling and it will bring in the best selling products for that particular keyword in that particular category. I'm going to go back to Becky's site here. So Becky can actually come down here and put in best selling Instapot recipes. You know, now this is YouTube. So best selling may not be the appropriate term, but if she came back over to here and went to her Amazon campaign, then she could basically put in, the best-selling vegetable meals, the best-selling coffee, the best-selling bicycles, the best-selling Nordic track, et cetera, et cetera. 
So these are the kind of things I want you to get excited about. And this is how you earn online. Now, I'm going to talk about the numbers in just a second. But right now, I want to play devil's advocate. Now, being totally transparent here, why the heck would somebody come to my website to buy Amazon, Walmart, Best Buy, Williams Sonoma, Lulu's, Lemon, uh, Dick Sporting Goods, whoever you're an affiliate of? Why would they come to my website? Why would they go to your website when they could just go to Amazon, Best Buy? Well, that's a very good question. Here's the answer. Because you have taken the time to curate content to meet their needs. Let me give you an example of this. Time is money. So three years ago, my better half of 27 years, I can't believe she's still putting up with me after 27 years. I don't know how that happened or what she did in her previous life to deserve me. But anyway, her niece was graduating NYU. We wanted to get her a graduation present. Now, of course, she wanted cash. That wasn't going to happen. And I could have gone on her favorite website and spent 45 minutes, an hour, finding the perfect gift. Or it could have gotten to a niche site that meet her needs. She likes handbags and shoes. She likes traveling. She likes gadgets. Well, I just happen to have different websites for those, those different niches. So it makes sense. So part of the reason people are going to come to you because you have taken the time to curate products that meet their needs. So you're going to build a relationship with your customers. Now, here's another question I want to ask you. Is it easier to sell 10 iPhones a day? Or is it easier to sell 10 coffee cells a day, 10 K-cups, 10 half pound bags of coffee, 10, 10 low ticket items that could be toilet paper, it could be hand sanitizer. Well, the answer is pretty obvious. So let's think about something that perhaps you're not thinking about. Now, we all want to sell the iPhone and the computer and the expensive gizmos and gadgets. Yes, of course we do. But why not work smart and pick off the low hanging fruit? Why not get to know them as a customer first and then offer them other products? So again, an easy way to get people to come to your website is through recipes, all different types of recipes. You know, four Thanksgivings ago, I never heard of this thing called a uh, beer, beer turkey recipe. But I was intrigued. I saw this thing on YouTube, the 10 best beer turkey recipes. I knew nothing about beer turkey. I posted it on my Facebook page. And within two and a half days, I had about 4,800 people directly or indirectly, either engaging directly or coming to my website because of this beer turkey recipe. And I simply said, have you tried this beer turkey recipe? Do you have your own beer turkey recipe of your own? Hashtag beer turkey recipe. So I realized that that was very valuable. I wasn't trying to sell them something. But when they went to my website to watch that video, maybe they need to buy some a turkey. Maybe they need to buy a baster. Maybe they forgot to buy their aunt a birthday present. It doesn't matter. Now, for those of you that are new to this referral, rewards, affiliate marketing stuff, you don't have to have every product on Amazon or Walmart or Best Buy on your website. Put the best selling stuff on your website. Because once they go to the Amazon, Walmart, Best Buy, Saks Fifth Avenue, Williams Sonoma website, anything they buy, even though it wasn't on your website, you're going to get a commission on it. Pretty cool. In fact, if they put something in their cart and they get distracted because their kid's crying or they got a meeting or the, the pizza guy's at the door, if it's the next day or the day after, they quit their browser and they go directly to Williams Sonoma. They go directly to Amazon and buy a product. Guess what? You still get paid because your cookies are stored on their browser. Isn't that pretty cool? So this is the power of not owning. I don't want to own anything. I just want to get a commission on what I refer. Now, here's what I want to share with you for a second. I'm going to go and bring up, and this is exciting stuff. Now, before I, I show you some numbers here, 
I want to get back to that, why the heck somebody would come to your website. Now, we have friends, family, relatives, people from New Jersey on our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter accounts, YouTube accounts, standing in line at the movies. Hopefully, we'll be standing in line at the movies again soon after this wacky thing we're all experiencing. You can say, hey, I got this great recipe website. I got this fitness website. I got this kitchen gadget website. You're going to get one of three answers. You're going to get, hey, uh, you know, it's okay. I buy my kitchen gadgets at Williams Sonoma. Great. You're still on my Christmas card list. Great. Scenario number two. Yeah, Robert, I'll check out your kitchen gadget website. Uh, yeah. Oh, you make a commission. Good for you. Good side hustle. I'm happy. Knock yourself out. But here's the best answer. Wow, Robert, I checked out your kitchen gadget website. How did you get your website? Bingo. So let me share with you scenario number one on how you could make crazy cuckoo money. Okay. Now you'll notice that when I click here, that there's a banner ad. Now, this is totally optional up to you, but I highly suggest you do this. So let's think about something for a second. You're on this fitness website, and there's a banner ad that says, how would you like to have a fitness web store like this? Or this? I think you'd be intrigued. Now, let's play devil's advocate for a second. I don't know what your favorite web store is. Is it William Sonoma? Is it Dick Sporting? Is? I don't know. Well, what if you went to Home Depot and there was a banner ad that said, how would you like to have a website like this? Well, technically, that's exactly what I'm talking about because you can have your own website. Many, many people go, I don't own any products. I don't know about any of this computer crap. Nonsense. You don't have to. I have a student of mine that will be 105 years old this August 20th, which is basically two weeks from Thursday. Okay. She knew, had no experience. She couldn't even type. She was a bookkeeper that retired from an air conditioning repair company in Jersey back in 72, when most of you possibly weren't even born or you were very young. 72, I was 13. So let's get back to this again. Now, I'm going to come back to this idea of getting your own website in a second. But before we do, I just want to share a simple concept. And this is coming right off of, of statistics from Amazon, okay? I wanna be very conservative here. I don't wanna fool you with a bunch of nonsense. Now, according to Amazon, I have to take a drink of water here for a second. Actually, I lied, that was Diet Coke. Um, according to Amazon, the average person on Amazon spends $2,700 a year. Okay, let's put that number aside for a second, 2,700 bucks a year. Now, I talked earlier about coffee or hand sanitizer or consumable products, dish detergent, toothpaste. Just because of your toothpaste customer, what, they can't buy an iPhone from you? Sure they can. And especially if you have multiple niche sites because there's a trust factor. Okay. Once you establish a trust factor with somebody, again, you're not selling them. You're basically posting engaging videos, fitness videos, recipe videos, reviews. Reviews are very big. You know, person's in the market for a car. Hey, here's the five best cars for under 300 bucks a month. All that stuff you can get on YouTube. I'm begging you to ride the coattails of YouTube to put on your social media to drive traffic to your website. So let's get back to this number here. So Amazon says that the average person spends $2,700 a year. Okay, so let's put that aside. Now, if you have five niche sites, which I highly suggest you do, can you make money with one site? Yeah, but you're fighting against yourself. The advantage of having five sites, and don't take my word for this, Google this on the Google machine. There's something called backlinking, B-A-C-K, linking. It's a higher rated algorithm that YouTube, I'm sorry, that Google uses to basically get you listed in your search engines. What that means is that different people are basically recommending your site. 
Well, if you have five sites or seven sites or 10 sites, you can become your own backlinking machines. Your fitness site can refer your recipe site. Your recipe site can refer your home do-it-yourself site, refer your hair and makeup site, et cetera, et cetera. It's working smart 101. Now, my average student probably has, and this doesn't happen overnight, my average student's been with me, uh, you know, close to two and a half, three years. My average student after that point has about 17 different niche sites. Now, again, I'm a lazy person. More is better, okay? It's a numbers game. So let's say you had five websites. In fact, let's back that out. Let's say that a site of yours is making five bucks a day. Now that's enough to re that's not enough to retire on. That's not enough to do anything. But if you now had five sites and you're making five dollars a day, you're now making twenty five dollars a day, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So there's strength in numbers. So let's get back to my calculator and share with you what I'm talking about. So again, according to Amazon, uh, the average sale is $2,700 a year. Let's again, put that off to the side. And again, getting back to the scenario, is it easier to sell 10 iPhones a day or 10 coffee sales? Well, let's be very, very conservative. And again, this could take you, maybe it takes you six weeks, maybe it takes you two months, maybe it takes you a number of months, weeks to work up to this, but it will happen if you stick to it and you treat this like a serious business. Now, what do I mean by that? You don't have to quit your day job. Many of you are not working right now because of what we're going through here in the world. So you wouldn't open an ice cream store on Main Street and try it for a couple of days, would you? Of course not. So you have to treat this like a serious business. And if you do this, you'll be rewarded with great benefits. Okay, so let's go back here. I know I keep teasing you with the calculator. So let's say you have five niche marketing websites. And you had, let's be conservative, you had three coffee sales a day. Now, in addition to selling hand sanitizer and iPhones, and again, let's be very conservative. You have three coffee sales a day, but you have five niche sites. And so now that's 15 coffee sales a day. Now, forget about what you make on the coffee. Amazon's going to pay you about 4%. The average coffee sale on Amazon K-Cups is about 27 bucks. But put the money aside for a second. I just want to share with you a concept. That's 15 customers a day. Now, those customers could have bought toothpaste. They could have bought an iPhone. They could have bought a computer. It didn't matter. But again, let's be very conservative with low-hanging fruit. It's just all about numbers. So 15 times 365 is 5,475 customers, new, fresh customers every day year. Again, maybe it takes you 18 months to work up to this. Maybe it takes you 15 months. I have students that have done this in seven and eight months. Okay. But again, three coffee sales a day. Okay. That's 5,475 customers that you've curated in this particular case from Amazon, but it could have been Best Buy, Walmart, Saks Fifth Avenue, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So stick with me for a second. Now, Amazon says the average customer spends $2,700 a year. I want to be brutally honest and candid with you, even though this number's come from Amazon. I don't want to fill your head with nonsense. Let's be really, really conservative. Let's knock that number down to $600 a year. Now, $600 a year is basically 50 bucks a month. I live in a dormant building in New York City a lot of my neighbors here are in their 80s and 90s. Unfortunately, I have a dear neighbor of mine that turned 100 back, uh, back in March, and she passed away in April. She was such a sweetheart. She was so nice, so full of life. But what I want to share with you, that's only 50 bucks a month. My older neighbors spend more than 50 bucks a month on Amazon. Hey, you probably spent more than 50 bucks a month on Amazon. But again, I want to be very conservative. $600 a year. So if you take this number times 600, that is now over $3.2 million a year. Now, before you go out of your mind here, you're not making anything close to that. Those are gross numbers. Amazon's going to pay you anywhere between 4 and 
5%. Let's be conservative. Let's round that off at 5%. 5%. That's $164,000. Now, again, this is, could have taken you a year, a year and a half. Maybe it takes you two years to work up to this. Are you making $164,000 a year now? Probably not. But again, let's be very conservative. Let's take that number and cut it in half. I don't know what just happened there. And it was roughly $164,000 divided by two. So even if you get conservative on top of being conservative, that's still $82,000 a year. And that's just on all you did was curate that customer with coffee or tea or beverages or low hanging fruit. And again, this gets down to working smart, okay? So you engage people with high value content from YouTube that I shared with you in the back of Becky's site. She curates the content and she publishes that content on her social media. And then once they're on her page, Yes, they came here to watch a recipe. Yes, they came here to watch a fitness video. But then there's all kinds of links on the side and throughout her site to buy stuff. Now, here's what I want to share with you. Let me take this calculator, put it off to the distance here for a second. Okay? Now, as you're watching this video and reading this article, notice that the word workout is highlighted. Well, that's a hyperlink. And if I click on this hyperlink, what happens? It takes you to Amazon to buy a best-selling workout product. Now, I'm going to share with you that I have premium software on the back end that will do this for you. Now, this premium software in the back end is called Thirsty Affiliates. More specifically, Thirsty Affiliates Pro. And this is exactly how it works. And it's really this simplistic. So what you would do is you curate your different content from YouTube based on keywords. And then you basically want to make those keywords do something. So let me set, let this, let's do this from scratch. So I'm going to go to, let's go back to Becky's website. And let's put in... Let's put in the word um, H-I-I-T, which is a very cool word. High intensity interval training. It's a, if you don't know anything about this, it's, it's the soup du jour. In fact, let's do something even simpler with this. Let's put uh, running shoes. In fact, let's put running shoes and see if running shoes comes up in her website. Now, I don't want running shoes to come up. Okay, here's a review on running shoes. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. I'm going to share with you exactly how to do this the right way. Okay, so let's take, all right, let's take the word running shoes. I'm going to copy the word running shoes. I'm going to go back to Becky's back end, and I'm going to paste the word running shoes. That's the name of the target. Now, if I want to, I can actually add a category called, and I'll initial cap this, called running shoes. You're really going to like this. This is really how simple it is to do, how simple it is to engage people to buy products without selling. Okay? Then I'm going to put running shoes down here as a keyword and hit the tab key. Now, the next step is I need to go to Amazon. And again, I'm going to hide the browser for a second, because I don't want to share my Amazon login with you. But once you sign up as a free Amazon affiliate, this is what you're able to do. As soon as this comes up. Okay. Now, you're really, you know, you're just going to flip out when I show this to you. This is part of my whole turnkey backend system. I've done all the heavy lifting for you. Just bear with me one second as this comes up. Okay, so I'm going to hide the camera again, go back. Here we are at Amazon. So I'm going to put in the word running shoes, and I'm going to put best selling. Best selling 
Selling it sometimes helps to spell that correctly. So I'm in Amazon right now, best selling running shoes. Now, if you want to do best selling running shoes for kids, for women, I'm just making this as simple as possible. Now, because I have, and I'm a member of Amazon via Amazon Associates, what they do after you basically sign up for a free Amazon Associates account, I can then take this entire page and make it a hyperlink. I simply click right here. And this is gonna bring up the target link for me to earn an income from. So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna copy that link. Now I'm gonna go back into my back end of Becky's website. I hope she doesn't mind me doing this. I think she'll be totally fine with it. And I'm gonna paste, actually, why did that not paste here? Somehow that didn't paste properly, my mistake. So I'm going to copy that back here and paste. And I want that to be in the category of running shoes, and I'm just going to save this link. Now, again, we did this in real time from scratch. So if I go back to Becky's online website here, where was I? Right here, the word running shoes. I'm gonna refresh this page. When I found this plugin about three years ago, I was absolutely amazed that it does the work for you. So I want you to think about what I just did. So basically, I made the word running shoes a hyperlink. So if I click on this, it's going to take me right to the Amazon website and possibly engage a sale. But how did I get people to come to my website? I got people to come to my website because I posted this video on my social media. Now, keep in mind that they have to come to your website in order to watch the video. They're not going to watch the video off there. I'm going to just pull this up for a second. They're not going to basically watch this video on your Facebook page, your Instagram page, your Twitter page. They have to come to your website. Does that make sense? Now, I can do what I just shared with you all day long. Because once you targeted that keyword, any video that you bring in that had the word, in this particular case, running shoes, will automatically be hyperlinked. It will do this for you automatically. Now, what you'd want to do is spend some time, spend a half hour, 45 minutes going through your website and targeting different keywords to go to your affiliate website. How cool is that? So you're, you're selling without selling, you're engaging, you're offering value. I can't overemphasize that enough. Now, I want to get into the real meat and potatoes of how you're really going to make some stupid money. Now, again, I just want to mention to you, let's go back to the site here for a second. So again, when you come into this site, there are banner ads that says, how would you like to get a website like this? Well, here's how this whole thing works. My sites, oh, here we go. Now Robert's going to try to sell us something. No, you can actually do this. You can sign up for free WordPress sites and take me out of the loop. Now, I can only want to say to you, if you go that route, good luck, because you're going to spend the next six, seven months First of all, you can't put any kind of premium plugins on your free WordPress site. Second of all, I've done all the heavy lifting and research for you. I'm basically handing you on a silver platter a system that works. Yes, it does cost money. My training is free. My advice is free. But guess what? Hosting costs money. Software costs Hey, I pay. I don't get this stuff for free. I pay for this. Okay? But it's a complete turnkey system. In fact, my turnkey system for five websites is $299, $299 every three months. Now, if you stick around for the next five minutes or so, I have a better deal than that. But I want to share with you the power of why you're going to want to sign up for this program for $299 every three months. This is exactly why you're going to do this. 
Oh, Robert, you sound like a bit of a smart ass telling us why we need to spend $2.99. Yeah, I'm going to tell you why. Because what I'm about to share with you is going to blow you out of the damn water. Okay? Now, again, you have five niche sites, hopefully. Now, I have 10 site packages. I don't want you to even think about anything else. If you go to my website, I, in fact, I'm not going to go to my website. I'm just going to say I have different packages, but I want you to start with five and hone that for the next six months at a minimum, and you'll be way ahead of the game. So I'm going to share with you simple math, how you can make $200,000 in the next 12 to 15 months. Now, if you think that I'm full of horse crap, I want you to call me out on this. I want you to go to my Facebook page, my YouTube channel, and say, Robert, you're full of crap. I'm serious. If you think what I'm saying is nonsense, then A, call me out on it. B, stop the video. C, defriend me. Don't follow me for anything again. Now, I'm not pulling these numbers out of my nose. This is based on what students of mine have already been doing for many, many years. So let's think about this. You have five niche sites. So do you think it's pretty likely that somebody, again, you have five, six, 10, 20 people a day after a number of months coming to your site for coffee, tea, snacks, fitness equipment, Nordatrack, iPhones, whatever you want to be a niche of. So the likelihood, my national statistic tells me this. For every 20 people that come to your site, this is based on feedback from my students. For every 20 people that come to your site, two people will click on that banner ad out of pure curiosity alone. So let's get back to this. So if you were able to secure three sales a month, not three sales a day, not three sales a week, Three a month. You have five niche sites. That's not even one sale per site. Let's just go with this. In fact, you're going to get a kick out of this. At the end of 12, 15 months, if you're only moving three of my websites a month, I would consider that a failure. I would consider that you have failed and I have failed you. Well, guess what? I'm a selfish guy. I'm not going to allow you to fail. In fact, my average student after about three months is moving about eight to nine of my website packages per month per site. But I don't want to talk about that right now. I want to talk about simple, simple numbers. So if you had three people a month buy my five site package, because there's something called FOMA, fear of missing out, success is contagious. They see that you're doing something, and especially if they're your friend or family member or coworker or Facebook friend, they're going to want what you want out of pure jealousy. There's something called FOMA, fear of missing out. Now, let me paint another scenario for you. Let's say that I owned a um, BMW dealership, and I'm going to hire you as my salesperson. Do you think I want you driving around in a Chevy or a Ford or an Isuzu or a Honda? No. I want you to drive around in a BMW. In fact, I don't even want you driving around in a Mercedes or a Maybach or a Lamborghini or a Bentley or a Rolls Royce. I want you to walk the walk and talk the talk. So how likely do you think it's going to be when somebody knows that you have skin in the game? You own the product. You own five sites. You own seven sites. You own 10 sites. So their way, therefore, the credibility factor has gone through the roof because they can see that, oh, Becky owns sites. Ralph owns sites. Tila owns sites. Stephanie owns sites. They walk the walk and talk the talk. So watch this. This is going to blow you out of the water. If you sign three people a month to buy my five niche system, which is $2.99 every three months, every three months, forever and ever and ever, every three months, every three months, every three months, $2.99, $2.99, That's three times a month times 12 is 36. Times $2.99 times four. Okay, that's $43,000. Now, before you jump out of your chair, you're not making $43,000. I'm going to pay you a minimum of 20%. That's $8,000 a year. Now, I didn't want you to walk and watch my video to make $8,000 a year plus what you're going to make on Amazon. I want you to make $200,000 a year. And drum roll, please, this is how it's going to happen using that same exact scenario that I just explained to you. Three people a month. Because the way that I program my system 
is that everybody you sell to my package, and I don't even want to say the word sell because my students aren't actually selling anything. They're offering a service when somebody comes to the website and they see a banner at, how would you like to get a web store like this? Does that sound salesy? No, it's a question. Launch a fitness web store like this one. Oh, okay. I'm not being told what to do. I'm just out of curiosity. I'm going to click on it. And, and once you see the numbers, it makes sense. So if you sold, right, I don't want to use the word sold. If somebody named Ralph went to your website, now Ralph loves our websites, by the way. If somebody named Ralph came to your website and they bought one of my packages, you're going to make 20%. But guess what? Ralph now has the same opportunity to make 20%. In fact, I don't allow outside referrals. What do I mean by that? Not anybody can just offer my packages. You have to be one of my customers' students because I want you to have skin in the game. I want you to walk the walk, talk the talk. So the way that my software is set up, that you're going to make money off Ralph at 20%, but guess what? Whoever Ralph sells to, let's say he sells to uh, Jolene. Now, Ralph and Jolene had a little bit of a fight I heard recently, but that's not my business. When Ralph sells to Jolene or Jessica, Jessica likes our websites too, you're also going to make 20%. Now, Ralph, of course, is going to make 20%, and you're going to make 20%. Now, before we go any further, those naysayers, those negative knowing, no, this is not Mary Kay Cosmetics and Amway, where unless you signed up 20 years ago, you're not going to make any money. This is one level down, one level. It's not five, it's not 10. And it's very doable because it's very practical because I have plenty of students that are doing this. So if you use that same scenario of selling three a month times 12, that's 36 people. Now, let's say, again, you sold to Ralph. And Ralph and Ralph, the people you sold to, maybe weren't as aggressive. Maybe they only were responsible for two of my website packages a month. Now, what I mean by that is, let's say one month you move three of my packages, and next month you move one. The following month you move two. The following month you move four. But at the end of the year, or 12 months, or 15 months, it came out to three a month, which is 36. So the people that sold 36 of your websites, let's say that they sold two a month, which is 24. So I want you to stick with me on this. So that's now 36 times 24. Now, again, this could take you 12 months, 15 months, hey, maybe it takes you two years to work up to this. But if you treat this like a serious business, it will happen. If you give up, nothing will happen. So that's now 864 people that you're directly or indirectly responsible for at the end of that period. I have some students that have done this in seven months. I have a student of mine from Vietnam because he tapped into the Asian market. He speaks French, he speaks Vietnamese, he speaks Mandarin. He actually did this in under four months. I was blown away. I, I had never heard of such a thing. Okay. Times 299 times four. Yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. That's over $1 million gross revenue that I'm going to pay you 20%. And there is $206,000 for the year. Now, keep in mind, that doesn't include what you made from Amazon, Walmart, Best Buy, Williams-Sonoma. That's just moving my product. Now, the reason I said that and brought that up, because as wonderful as it is to be able to offer Amazon, Walmart, Best Buy, they don't pay as much. I'm paying 20% on a, on a, on a, on a $100 plus ticket item. So let's look back at this calculator again. And if you think that this is total nonsense, let's be really conservative and cut that number in half. Let's take everything I just explained to you and cut it in half. So instead of selling three a month, you're selling two, two, you're selling one and a half people a month. And the people you sold to, instead of two a month, you're selling one a month. That's still $100,000. Have you made it, did you make $100,000 this past year? I don't think so. And if you divide that by 52 weeks, that's almost $2,000 a week. Are you making $2,000 a week now? 
Now, again, if you think what I'm saying is total nonsense, then stop the video right now and go back to what you were doing. Now, let's get down to business. Here's what I want to share with you. If you go to my website, nichebuilders.club, and I'll make it really simple here. I'll pull up a little section here. So there is nichebuilders.club. I will give you your first five websites for $129. But before you even think about doing that, simply go to nichebuilders.club. Fill in this form and I'll provide you more free videos to help you decide. I don't want you to decide anything right now. I sincerely mean that. And you'll notice I also put my cell phone number on here. This is how transparent I am. I'm here to help you every step of the way. But I assure you nothing's going to happen if you choose to do nothing. Now, what does that mean? So you're going to get five niche sites for 120. What just happened there? I think I came off my site here for a second. Okay. Okay. So you're going to get five niche marketing sites for $129 to start. Now, what that means is three months from now, yes, you'll be paying $299. Okay? Now, here's what I want to share with you. So at $129 divided by five divided by three, you're paying $8.60 for a website. You tell me where you can start a real opportunity, a real live website for under nine bucks a month. Go ahead, search the web. It can't be done. In fact, you're certainly not going to get the training that you're going to get from me based on my experience. You're not going to get the handholding. Now, I'm going to be very, very upfront with you about something. <laughs> Adult education is a fickle thing. I've actually had people sign up for my site, spend all kinds of money, and then the next thing you know, they're going on Facebook and, and YouTube and they're asking their friends. I'm like, why didn't you just ask me if you had a question? Oh, I didn't want to bother you. Oh, no, I want you to bother me. If we have to jump on a Skype session, I'm putting my cell phone in here. If we need to go on a, I'm here to help you for selfish reasons. I'm a very selfish guy. Because if you're making money, damn it, I'm making money. I want to make you as successful as possible. Now, in closing, I'm going to share something with you that if you don't take advantage of this, I have to tell you, I'm going to tell you right now, you're probably not going to want to hear this. You're a knucklehead. What I'm about to tell you, if you don't take advantage of what I'm about to offer you, you are a knucklehead. I'm going to look right into your eyes, into the camera, and say, you're a knucklehead. Because this is something up until last week, I've never done this before. Many of you have followed me before. I don't make any guarantees of anything, no promises of how much you'll make. How can I? I don't know what your work ethic is. When I had my school here in New York City, I actually had students that had master's degree and PhDs from Barnard, from Sarah Lawrence, from Harvard, from Oxford, from Northwestern, and they were waiting tables. I thought it was unforgivable that they had a four-year degree, college degree, master's degree, PhD, and they're waiting tables. So there are no guarantees to life. But here's what I want to offer you. Between now and six months after you register for my program, which means you'll pay the 129 today or whenever you get around to signing up, the next time around you pay 299. And again, you're gonna make 20% on the front end and whoever you sell to that sold to you make 20% and I shared those numbers with you. Between now and the six months, if you decide that this is not for you, for any reason, I don't want an excuse. I don't need an excuse. Maybe uh, you're independently wealthy now. Maybe you broke up with your better half. Maybe you moved to the part of the world that doesn't have an internet connection. Doesn't matter the reason. Maybe you basically hit the jackpot. Maybe you're going back to cooking burgers. I don't know. Whatever the reason is, between now and six months from now, if you decide this is not for you, I will give your money back. And I will give your websites to somebody else. I'm not going to put your website and the effort that you put into it. I'm not going to let it go to waste. Now, of course, I'll remove all your personal information, obviously. 
but I'll give those websites to somebody else. Somebody who has really little to no income to start. Okay, so that's my satisfaction guarantee. Not a guarantee for income, because I don't guarantee that. How could I? So you go to nichebuilders.club, nichebuilders.club, not .com, .club. You get the rest of my free videos. You'll get a link to sign up for five websites for $129. And again, let's think about this. Between now and the next time your payment is due, if you want out, hey, I'll let you out. I'll give you $129 back. I don't want to keep you here if you don't want to be here. And I don't care if you made money or not made money. Let's say between now and three months from now, you made yourself a thousand bucks. Well, you get to keep the thousand bucks and I'll still refund your 129 bucks because I don't want somebody in my system that doesn't want to be there. It's really that simple. Now, of course, I want to keep you as a customer forever. So let's think about why. And part of the reason I do every three months, because I don't want you to sweat it out. It basically comes down to under the regular price, it comes out to 99 bucks a month. Well, I don't want you to sign up for 99 bucks a day and go, oh, well, I got to make $99 next month. I want you to relax. And that's why I intentionally do this for every three months. Now, after you basically get my free videos to watch the rest of my videos, I do have special incentives and a great price for signing up for the whole year. If that's what you want to do, reach out to me and I'll give you a better deal for prepaying for the entire year. But I'm here to help you every step of the way. But I assure you, 100% nothing will happen if you choose to do nothing. And I hope this time together, I didn't mean to turn this into an hour-long presentation, but I don't want to fill your head with nonsense. I don't want to fill your head with get rich quick and all this other crap. If you follow my directions and you listen to me, you will have the opportunity to make more money than you ever made before in your life. Now, before I go, I just want to share with you one more thing. You like to dream a little? Well, guess what? My average student is moving. I told you earlier, they're moving a heck of a lot more than three a month. But let's say after three months from now, you're now moving five package, five of my five site packages a month. Well, that is 60 people a year. And let's say the people you sold to are doing half that, okay, which is 30 people a year. So that number now becomes 60 times 30. That's now 1,800 people a year that are spending and investing $299 every three months. So I'm gonna quick to I'm gonna cut to the chase. $299 times three is $1196. $299 every three months is $1196. So I'm gonna take that number times $1196. That is now $2.1 million gross profit. Now, earlier I said 20% commission. If you're selling at an average of five or more a month, I will pay you 30% commission. Now, 20% on the front end, 30% on the back end, meaning that when you sell to Ralph, you're going to make 20%. But the person he sells to, you're going to make 30%. So you're going to make a total of 50% if you amortize it out. So if you take that number times 30%, that's a good chunk of change. That's $645,000 a year. Now, again, if you think, and if I divide that by 365 days, that's $1,700 a day. Would you like to make $1,700 a day? Now, again, if what I'm saying, if you think this is total nonsense, horse crap, then don't watch my videos. Don't sign up on my nichebuilders.club for any free videos. Just forget I exist. This is doable. This is real. I have students that actually make over 170. I, I could think of about 17, 18 students of mine that make more than $200,000 a month. Yes, I'm going to look you in the eye and tell you that because it's a true story. I have one student, my Vietnamese student. Now, I haven't basically tracked him since 
I don't know what his June numbers were, but I know in May, he made almost, almost, drum roll, he made almost $400,000 in one month. Now, to be brutally honest with you, that's more than I make in a month. I have students that kick my butt. I'm a lazy guy. I work like four to five hours a week. So I'm here to help you every step of the way. This is a real live opportunity. In fact, did you know that 42% of Jeff Bezos' income comes from exactly what I do? 42% of Jeff Bezos' income comes from referrals. Amazon has 2.2 million affiliates and most of them don't make money because most of them just give up. So I'm providing you the tools, the training, the know-how, and the motivation to help you. So as long as you treat this like a serious business, it will have the opportunity to work. Thanks again for being here. My name is Robert Farrell. I'm here to help you every step of the way, but I assure you 100% nothing happens if you choose to do nothing. So stay home, stay safe, stay positive. Carpe diem 2020, and let's make some money. Go check out nichebuilders.club, register to watch my free videos, and get a coupon to get your first five websites for $129. You can't find anything like this for any price. Wix doesn't have it. Webly doesn't have it. Squarespace doesn't do this. I'm here to help you. But nothing happens if you choose to do nothing. Carpe diem 2020. Enjoy your day.